Arkansas River. What in the world is going on here? Where in the world are you going? Away. Away? Oh, okay. Huh. How about that? Well, so, here we are. It is me and the Ikester. And we are Sorry. headed down to the Washita National Forest. We're going to go do some camping. Of course, we had one little <clears throat> setback, I'm going to say. Um, somebody didn't tighten their new wheels down very well. We had a vibration going on. We pulled over a tire shop and had a couple of uh, questionable lug nuts. <laughs> anyway, we are back on track and we are headed to the forest. So, we are in the Washita National Forest down here in central western Arkansas and uh, give you an idea man it is beautiful alright we is on the dirt road we still got at least 20, 25 minutes to go before we get to where we're going. And, uh, yeah, I think we might be in the woods. Okay, I, the road is getting smaller. We must be getting closer. Are you ready for this? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around, show them how much crap we're packing. Yeah. You think I got a pack mule, right? Well, think again. He's only got about 35 pounds. Show him what I got, Ike. I just got a whole kit. <laughs> With all my clothes, my pockets, my pack, I'm packing an extra 57 pounds. And we're fixing the hike. I don't know. Eight, ten miles, something like that. Up the mountains. Yeah, up the mountain. So, <laughs> woohoo! Let's do this. All right, walking beside the Little Missouri River. Got a little waterfall back there. Let's see if I can bring it in at all. Yeah. Yeah, it is humid out here. My goodness. All right, so, who we? It sure is ugly out here. <laughs> oh, I'm a crazy man. You guys are crazy for watching me. So, here we go. Uh-oh. Got a slow spot. Nature is so cool. Whew. All right, well, I'm not sure exactly how far we went, but we went a ways. We're tired, and we're going to have to set up camp, and we're not too awful far, about 100 feet or so from the stream over here and uh yeah so we found a uh campsite where someone else had already camped and uh so we're gonna go ahead and use this campsite Whew. guess we better get busy and get setting up okay so this video we're camping hiking you know all that stuff and we're testing out some of these survival products you know this is the squeeze water filtration system just el cheapo walmart um you fill the bottom up you put the filter on yeah and then you squeeze the water into your thing and it's supposed to be healthy maybe 
So we'll see if we get the backdoor trouts. Hopefully not. There you go. And while he's going to do that, I'm going to be uh, starting to unload my pack and all that stuff. And um, we've got a few other things that we bought. And uh, we want to bring them out here and test them. Because I am a firm believer that if you can't pack it in, or, you know, in a SHTF situation, if you can't pack your stuff, then you might as well sell it now. Because it ain't going to do you no good if you waste the money on it and have to drop it off before you go or along the way or whatever. And I also want to see if the stuff that I spent money on, you know, over time is worth what I spent on it. So I've got a few things I'm going to try out here and we're going to try out a few of our skills and whatnot. I'm going to try building the fire a few different ways. We're going to, uh, I don't know, try some bushcraft skills and yeah, I'm just going to enjoy ourselves. So sit back, hang out. You guys got the easy job. All you got to do is watch us be silly. So, all right, task number one. It's fixing to rain on us. It's supposed to be raining for the next two, three days, so I need to get something dry set up. Got my tarp over there. Got my paracord. And I'm just going to get me a uh, little shelter quick right here. A little quick knot. Real quick, just like so. And then, I can get it over here. Yeah. I'm gonna make a trucker's hitch over here. Bring my thing over here and twist around one, two, three times. Put that through. Well, them truckers would be disappointed in me anyway. All right, so now I'm gonna whittle me some sticks and I'll make me some stakes and whatever, and I'll take some more cord, go straighten her out, and make us a little shelter. And keep all our equipment dry and all that stuff. So I'll be back in a minute. So I'm going to go get me some sticks. And this is another one of these products I was talking about. This is a Camillus Carnivore X. It's kind of like a chicory-ish. Um, very sharp. And this little saw blade on the back looks like it's pretty cool. They even got a little fingernail picker in there. But anyway, Walmart, about 20 bucks-ish or so. Um, so because this is really hard rocky ground and you're not going to drive 
a stake in this ground. My plan is I'm going to go cut some green limbs and I'm going to tie off to those limbs and I'm going to weight them down with some of these big stones out here. So we'll chop some green limbs and we'll see how this dude works. All right, stage one. Got this part set up. Nice big shelter. And just got it tied down. It's not supposed to be really windy or anything. Just chances of rain, you know. Yeah. Need a place to be big enough to sleep under and put my pack and all my supplies under. So, got that done. I'll show you. There's my little slip knot on this end. And... That's my trucker's hitch there. thing I like about that dude there is all I got to do is just rip that rip cord and we'll have her apart in about two seconds. All right, so now I got that. Isaac's out in the woods getting him a dig stick. We're going to have to dig this fire pit out. It's been used several times and so we're going to dig some of the stuff out and we did not bring a shovel believe it or not with that little bit of stuff we brought <sighs> anyway so he's going to dig that out and uh i guess i'm gonna figure out what i'm doing next hmm i guess i'm gonna go gather some firewood yeah i'll do that all right we're fitting to go full on hillbilly out here huh i like digging them out I just want to tell you about this. A millet. This dude here. Now, I wanted to try the saw, which I did. And on a piece this big, it did so so, but this stuff is really hard. And you get through it about as fast with that side as you will with that side so hmm, i don't know i mean it is really good though if you need some shavings because we're going to need some real fine shavings for starting our fire with that ferro rod so i mean you can get in that dry wood and just kind of so it's really handy for that so all right so this is my cheap little hobo freight ferro and magnesium and what I did to get my fire ready I got some dry pine needles from right around the base of some of these trees and also the inside of the bark off of some of these trees has got some really good little tinder in there that's nice and dry I'm gonna put that in there and I'm gonna take a, scrape a bit of this magnesium off in here That's the bad thing, you gotta try not to hit it too hard. And you don't wanna strike it too early and set your magnesium on fire before you're ready to go. All right, let's, a little more. All right. more magnesium I probably knocked it out You know, this is just a piece of hacksaw blade on here. That's not working. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm 
we'll go to another thing. Because it's going to get dark on us. I've got a whole bunch of different ways to make fire. All these different ways. So, this is what we're going to do. Stormproof matches. Because we're not out here, like I said, to be survivalists. Not really. We're just testing our skills. And apparently that skill ain't working for me yet. So, I'm going to try this skill. See if it works. Now those things look like candy. Let's see here. Oh, that worked out pretty good. Oh, yeah. Well, I said it did. Until I pushed it out. Yeah. Thing is, everything out here is wet. It's been raining out here quite a bit. And I may try something different tomorrow, but for tonight, we just got to have a fire. So, we're going to get this thing going however we can. See, that didn't work either. It's all just wet. So, strike two. All right. This is why I do all this stuff. So I know. This is a cotton ball saturated in petroleum jelly. We'll put that right there in the midst of all of that. First I'm going to see if the ferro will light it. Because I don't know. Nope. Alright. Back to the matches. Let's see. Well, I tell you what, if I was in a storm, I would not want to try lighting a fire with stormproof matches. That's all I can say. So. Yeah, there goes my magnesium. There goes fire. All right. Well, so guess what? Lighter time. So much for that, right? So we're going to try another thing. This has been tried and true for, I don't know, decades at least. Try the easy method. There we go. Now we're talking. See, we didn't come out here to not have a campfire. So, we'll be back as soon as we got a campfire. Bick to the rescue! Woohoo! So, if you're like me, nothing happens in the morning before coffee. I did do something right. 
built me a little tripod here made some forked sticks made three little forked sticks and one little hook stick boom heck yeah and just so you know that little squeeze system filtration thing from walmart um i'm gonna say find a better one buy a gravity filter yeah buy a gravity filter Takes or something two hours for the so this is what we're doing. We got a pot of water on our little makeshift tripod and we're going to just boil our water and uh, make sure it's safe that way. So this is the life. Having fun yet, Ike? I know. Nice. Got our passive light over there. Our stuff set up and our little campfire living winning all right so here we are this is bed <laughs> bed roll <sighs> i know i'm crazy what? good night Ooh, spooky all right about five o'clock Got my fire going this morning. Rain off and on most of the night. Uh, not heavy rain, just light piss drizzle. So, and get up, make some coffee, get on with our day. Now, good morning. Got my coffee. Got the birds singing. Going ahead and boiling out some water so I can. Put it to the side to let it cool. We can fill up our water containers before we break camp and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, that was definitely not the most comfortable night's sleep. I'll tell you, you think you're going to get out here and do this? You better just make sure you can do this. So, anyway, it's pretty overcast. Not sure if it's going to rain anymore today. That's the thing about where we're at. There is no cell signal. None of that. And that's part of why I'm doing short clips in here. Because we got two more days at least out here. There's no power. There's no way to charge your stuff. And uh, so I'm doing limited phone usage. You know, because I record all this just here on my phone. And uh, I can't even call Mama and tell her I'm okay. I'm okay, Mama. <laughs> so, anywho, we'll get that kid up here directly and we'll have some breakfast. We'll break camp and get on down the road. Yes, we brought bacon. You can't go camping without bacon. What in the world? Alright, so before we break camp, you know, I boiled some extra water. We're going to hydrate really good. And I put the pot in the creek to cool it down so that when we get ready to leave, we're going to fill up our water containers with cold water, not hot water. And looking right here, Found some little chanterelle mushrooms. Got some, uh, several little chanterelles. So we'll probably pick those and use those to season our food tonight. Yeah. Cool, cool. One of the craziest things I've ever seen. Got a walking stick, fell out of the tree, climbed into the fire. And then well, he's climbing out now, but he's going to go right back in the fire. These dudes are crazy, man. You thought you were tough. You ought to be a walking stick. All right, so we are all packed up. Got our campsite all ready to go. Got our water bottles filled. And uh, the thing with this... Uh, this type of dispersed camping is, they say, 
take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints. Well, I am going to leave a little something. I'm going to leave this little tripod that I built here. I mean, because yeah, you never know. Somebody might appreciate that. And it has no, you know, uh, ecological impact. So, yeah, and you never know. We may end up camping back here tomorrow night. So, anyway, off we go. Now we are up on the mountaintop. There is no water in sight. And, uh, yeah, good thing that we stopped where we did last night to camp because I don't know how long it's going to be before we hit water again. So, woohoo. Well, we's like billy goats up in here. That's some serious rocks. River's down in the bottom. We're on the side of the mountain. So in our little adventure, we came across this old concrete bridge. Kind of cool. Probably been here for at least 100 years or maybe 150. We're getting closer. The river's getting bigger. And, uh, ooh, can't wait to get to our destination. Wow. Uh, so we hiked for a few hours, and now we're at our next campsite. Got a lot of work. That was a lot of work. We're just going to sit and relax for a little bit before we build fire and all that stuff. Start boiling some water, because we drank all our water. So we got to get water soon. So. Yeehaw. All right, so Axter's got our new fire rocking and rolling. No, we didn't start it with a piece of flint and iron. Started it with a lighter because we suck at that stuff. But it's okay. We're having fun. And got me another tripod built with a little cooking pot hanger on it. So, yay. All right, time for a product review. My Life Straw. This one here, I just tried it. I just went and got some water out of the creek. All you do is open it up, put that end in, suck through that end. Yes, it's got resistance because it's got a filter in it, but it's really not that bad. And water actually tastes good. And uh, it's supposed to filter out all the harmful stuff. But, um, yeah, this one I'm going to say is a, uh, a winner. I like it. And it doesn't all have to be uncomfortable. Yeah, see there? We're styling and profiling, chilling like villains. And why not have some coffee in the middle of the afternoon? Ain't like we got a schedule this week, so. Yeah, I think we're going to just hang out and sip some coffee and maybe we'll go down to the creek. Woohoo! Caught my first fish. He's a brute. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back to product review. I went back to this thing here. And I'm going to say, the more I use this thing, the more I like it. Especially the chopping side of it. Because, I mean, it's actually quite the beast. It actually chops better than my hatchet. Which is uh, saying something. You know, I mean, look at there. Yeah. Dude's probably four inches. And that dude went right through it like nothing. So, yay. There can be no contamination. And home sweet home for another night. Oh, what a comfortable bed. That's a lie. Alright, we're going to try this again. We've already got a campfire, but... Because we're sitting around, bored, hanging out, 
I've got uh, my little magnesium starter and I got me some tinder that I found some pine needles some dry leaves and some real 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 dead rotten wood and I figure if I crumble this up here crumble crumble see how small I can crumble this up here and I even made me a couple of them little feather sticks yeah just because I think that's what you're supposed to do and I figure I'm gonna give this one more try and see if I get me enough on here well if I could get it all to go in one spot that'd be great that tends to only just go about everywhere I think but Can't get some of this stuff on here. I don't even know how much I need. But I'm gonna I gotta take it apart. Let's see here. pretty good but she ain't smoking yet yeah it sure ain't no big lighter I know that okay so whenever we're stuck out in the middle of nowhere and it's cold outside will you come start a fire for me I don't know. Good night, John boy. Good night, Sue Ellen. What? What top of the morning to you? Yeah, believe it or not, it is morning. It's about five o'clock in the morning. We're up making our coffee. Listening to the owls. How cool is that? Day three. Whew. Here we go again. We ready? Yep. All right. Well, another campsite down, and maybe we'll find where we're supposed to be. We, I don't know. We're having fun anyway. Okay, so whew. we ended up hiking out of the woods. Ended up at a campground. 11 miles from where we were intending to be. We had to hike another four miles back to the car. We were spent. How about you, bud? Very much. <laughs> I think we're going to call this uh, a trip. I don't know how many miles we hiked, but a bunch. And uh, so we're going to start heading back towards civilization. Yay. Home again, home again. Mama actually let me come home. All my stuff ain't sitting out on the porch. 
So it's a good time. Whew, ready for a shower. Real food. Okay, shower down. Get home. Mama's got me a meal cooked. Steak and eggs. Oh, I love that woman. So, here is my assessment of this um, last couple of days. You know, we just went out there. It's kind of a, yeah, you know, test to resolve kind of thing. And you hear all these guys talking about well, when the crap hits fan, I'm going to the woods, and y'all go to the woods. I tell you what, they're going to have to David Koresh me, man. They're just going to have to burn down the house around me, or you know, come down the hallway and get me because I am bugging in all that bull crap. Unless you're special forces or a very avid outdoorsman, and you know, you just live for that kind of crap. That stuff's hard. Especially if you're old like me, you know. And uh, I'm not saying I absolutely couldn't figure it out and all that, but I don't have to. I ain't going to. And uh, that's it. So, you know, appreciate y'all watching. And uh, do me a favor. If you ain't subscribed, go ahead and do that. Give me one of them thumbs up or thumbs down. Say, hey, you big dummy. You ain't no survivalist, and I'll tell you. You are correct. I ain't no survivalist. I'm just a realist. So, till next time, y'all keep watching. I'm going to go enjoy my bed. And as my friend Carlos says, oh, I love my bed. Mm.